Hey, what's up? It's Lazy Brainer from LazyGamer.com, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get 100% uh, full synchronization on the Execution is Everything mission in Assassin's Creed 3, of course. So as soon as you're done with the first cinematic, go ahead and head to your left. Uh, and on the road there, you should be able to see a cart, which you can enter. So go ahead and enter the uh, back of the cart here and stay hidden inside it until you're uh, inside the fort. And this does take a while before you actually get there, so I've sped up this part of the video a little bit. But one thing I do want to mention uh, before I start this walkthrough is that the timing on this mission is really, really important. So try and do everything uh, roughly in the same timing as I do it. Otherwise, uh, you will get spotted by the guards, which obviously uh, is not part of the plan. So here are the optional objectives. As you can see, you have to sabotage both of the cannons and do not kill any of the guards. Now, once you're inside, go ahead and exit uh, the cart and just enter the bushes right next to it. Uh, just go ahead and enter the eavesdrop uh, circle and this will start the eavesdropping on the two guards there. Now notice there's the two guards that you're eavesdropping on and there's also a third one which you have to be careful uh, not to get noticed by. So just go ahead and slowly uh, follow the two guards and go back into the first bush you entered. And as you can see, the two uh, guards that you eavesdropping on will be uh, heading up the stairs. Uh, just wait for the guard right here in front of me, um, or in front of you, to uh, walk back before exiting the bush. So once he's walking back, you can just go ahead and follow the guards up the stairs as well. And right away, go ahead and enter the bushes on the left, uh, so you don't get spotted. Go ahead and wait in these bushes until the eavesdrop is uh, finished, so you can continue on uh, with the rest of the mission. But once you've finished eavesdropping, uh, the next objective is to steal the map, which is right inside the tent on uh, your left here, which is actually quite tricky because there's a guard right next to it. So I went ahead and froze the game right here. As you can see, there's we have the guard and uh, the map is right inside, inside the tent on his left. So the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, there's no really, well, there isn't really an easy way. It's kind of tricky, but you're going to want to stand on this corner or hide behind this corner of the tent and go ahead and whistle uh, and this should make the guard come towards you and just go ahead and kind of go around the tent uh, to be able to get the map so hopefully that's pretty straightforward or at least you guys understood that but once you got the the map go ahead and run to these bushes right here and wait for that guard up top uh, to walk in the opposite direction so you can go ahead and sabotage the first cannon um, so that's one cannon to go and here you want to just go ahead and drop down watch out there's a guard on your right right there as you can see you want to make sure again he walks in the opposite direction uh, so you don't get spotted now here I do accidentally get spotted real quick uh, unfortunately so I just went ahead and ran back to the previous bush so I could start over Now once the guard walks in uh, the proper direction, you can go ahead and jump to these bushes here. Um, and just wait until uh, in these bushes until he walks back. Uh, so you can go ahead and sabotage the cannon. Here we go. So I just went ahead and ran to the cannon. Hold B or uh, circle on PlayStation to sabotage the cannon and go back in these bushes right next to you. And just wait once again for uh, the guard to pass by. So you have to be kind of patient for this mission, uh, but that's all the only way I can uh, easily explain it to you guys. So once he walks back, just go ahead and follow uh, him without, of course, being spotted. And walk to the exit right on your left. Now, as you can see, there's a guard right there in front of the exit. Uh, and this might sound kind of weird, but just go ahead and uh, run right past him and uh, just keep on running until you're out of the uh, the restricted area. And it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you will get spotted, obviously, but he will not uh, recognize you uh, as long as you run away uh, quick enough. So that's kind of a weird part of the, the mission, but that's the only way I could uh, easily uh, leave the fort. And then just go ahead and run back to your friend here, uh, which will be the end of the mission. 
And that's pretty much uh, how you get full synchronization for this mission. It's actually quite tricky in my opinion. Uh, I've tried many different ways to be able to uh, kind of give you a better explanation for this mission because uh, I do uh, know or admit that the timing, especially where you have to get the map, is kind of tricky uh, to get. But that was really the only way I could uh, explain it easily to you guys. But uh, that's pretty much it on how to get 100% full synchronization for the Execution is Everything mission. I thank you all for watching. Be sure to like the video if you did find it useful. And subscribe to my channel for more Assassin's Creed 3 uh, full synchronization walkthroughs. Um, if you have any problem with any other missions. I'll thank you all for watching once again and I'll see you guys later. Peace.